Ron, you, I guess last time we spoke to you, you were the defensive MVP of the championship game. I mean, how do you, like I said, said nobody's job settled, everybody's competing, but like, how do you, I don't know, humble yourself or stay hungry or keep the edge? How do you go about the hitting the reset button coming off that? I mean, I'm still the same person. I'm still eating out the floor, you know. Um, like Coach Mark preaches that nobody, no entitlement, not entitled to anything. So it's still the same mindset I had last year. You're going to stay hungry or you will get complacent. And complacency is just not in my DNA, so you still eating, you still hungry. Obviously, you uh, um, played at the star last year. Is that it, it, is that where you're starting the spring? Or are you getting looks at other positions? Uh, um, during the spring, spring is always a time where all the DBs kind of rotate. Um, you kind of get a feeling. Uh, we really just like learn. The more you know, the more value you have to this team. So uh, we all get looks at different positions, safety, corner, star, whatever it is, or whatever it takes in order to help this team get better. What have you seen from Smoke as he comes in and, and joins y'all's secondary group? Um, very, very handsy player. I love, I love watching him play. Um, gets hands on receivers. Very physical at the point of attack. Um, very quick and agile. He moves well. Um, I think he's gonna make a, a great fit by our team. What's his spot on the, on the in the secondary? Where, where is he playing? Um, we all, like I said, we all kind of move around. So there's really no designated spot where he's really. Yeah, he's played in the star position. He's played in the corner position. So he's gonna continue to learn. The more he learns, the more uh, positions he'll uh, play. Have you seen that from AJ Harris as he's gotten up there? Very, very confident player. Uh, has that defensive swag that you kind of got to have in this league. Um, it's very excited to see him play. And what about uh, Justin Rett? Um, another player that's really um, coming along. Um, just like I said, good. All these guys are athletes, man. Like the Justin Rett, he's more of a quiet guy, but he surprises you with his extreme athleticism. Um, he's learning. Like I said, all those guys are young. They're still learning, but they continue to make plays. You had to study up on Dominic Lovett and Ra Ra last year. Now you, uh, I assume you've had a chance to go against them. What's been your impressions uh, and interactions with them? And, and um, as far as Dom, <laughs> Dom was like my little brother, man. He was uh, one of the first guys that, like, when I, we came back, uh, we was in the locker room and just topping it up. But um, a very quick, very fast, um, like I said, very agile. Gets in and out of his breaks really good. A great route run. Knows how to play with his speed a lot. So. Um, I'm looking forward to see him play. And Ra Ra, I haven't really got to go at Ra Ra just because of he's more so outside. But um, uh, a lot of, I know Kamari got, up, got to go up against him a lot. And just um, just based off what he was saying, um, he's very quick off his first step off the release and has great hands too. So like I said, I'm excited to see both of those guys help us. In replacing Chris Smith, what's going to be the biggest challenge for the secondary in accomplishing that? Uh, there is no replacing Chris. Chris is always going to be uh, money mob. He's always going to be a part of us. But um, like I said, just just, just that guy being who he was. Um, like I said, there's no replacing him. But it's always like it's next man up. Like great players leave Georgia all the time, and great players come up in Georgia all the time. So it's always that next man up mentality. Chris did what he did. did he did what he had to do here. And um, we're just looking for that next guy to come in and fill in. Who, who's that guy? Not really sure yet, but we'll know by the season. Along those lines, with Keeley leaving, what do you, what do you, have you seen from the corners like Dalen? Um, you know, th th this off season. Oh, um, guys, learning. You gotta learn, man. Like I said, all this DB room, the team period, we still eating out the floor. You can't really get complacent. Keeley was a great play. Like I said, along with Chris, he did what he had to do here, man. Those guys are on the bigger and better things. Um, but it's still next man up mentality, whether that's the safety position or the corner position. Um, uh, as far as like the corners, I know um, just off experience wise, Kamara is probably the leader of that group just based off experience. Um, and I know he's going to continue to lead them in the right direction. So, um, like I said, I'm excited to see all of them just compete and, and go hard this spring. What's, uh, what, what do you think is next for you? I mean, you're kind of known for your big hits, whether it was on the, the Florida quarterback taking him pretty hard early or the, the hit in the championship game. I mean, where do you see yourself evolving to in terms of what you can bring secondary? Uh, just keep learning, man. I, I wanna, I, I got big goals and, and big plans for myself and for this team, and uh, I just want to keep learning, keep um, growing. I feel like this is the best school to learn and grow from as far as the DB perspective, um, with the coaches that we have and, and the defense that we run. So just keep learning, man. I'm eager to learn. I come in here eager to learn every day, um, and with the coaching staff that we have and the plays that we run, I feel like it's. It's gonna happen. So um, just just keep eating, keep learning, and uh, really just have a, a really a growth mindset every day that you come to work. How about one thing I wonder about with with a player like yourself that I, I mean a lot of people knew who you were before last year, but now like you're like a marquee guy in the league. What about that fishbowl and just 
off the field, people recognizing you, people kind of, I don't know, watching you. I guess when you're a Georgia football player, they kind of know who you are. Has that changed your life, or is there more of a, I guess, uh, awareness calling? Um, I mean, you always, just wearing this G, uh, like we said in the room, this G is doing it just important as your last name. This G is, is very important, and um, people who love and respect this G, and you gotta, it's, it's an honor, it's an honor for us, man, to wear this G, so you gotta respect it, whether you on the field, off the field, and you just gotta do what you gotta do in order to, um, just not bring a bad name to this G and to your last name itself. So you really just gotta watch what you do, watch your surroundings, and just keep your head full. How valuable are these first couple of weeks for the early enrollees learning the standard and, and the expectations? It's, it's huge, man, because that transition from college, well, from high school to college, is is, is big. It's big, uh, and I know those guys are just, you know what I'm saying, their minds probably going crazy, but um, it's it's a process, and I'm glad that they're here early because I feel like that helped me in the long run, just getting there early, learning the playbook, learning the standard, learning like the way we do things here is different. Um, but I, like I said, those guys are coming along. Those guys are eager to learn. They come to work every day with a great mindset. And it's all that's going to take time, but they're going to get it. What do you remember about those first few weeks for you trying to kind of get it? Man, it, your head's spinning, man. Just the practice alone. It says a lot that we have to practice our practice. So <laughs> uh, just, just that, you know what I'm saying, Mark alone is, is huge. I never even heard of anybody practicing a practice. Like, practice is always going to be practice. But, um, yeah, like, just knowing what a transition, the standard here is different, man. Um, and just from high school, different. Like in the SEC, it's different. It's tough. It's physical. And just getting those guys ready. You know what I'm saying? Those guys are already uh, great physically, but the mindset part of it is probably the biggest aspect. Do you sometimes look around and be like, man, I'm one of the actually one of the old guys in this defensive back room now? Like, what's that like? Sort of trying to take on that leadership role with guys like Chris? Yeah, yeah. me and Taki was just in the locker room joking about that, man. It was like, oh, we was just you know, me. Well, me and K3. I'm sorry, me K3 and Taki was just joking about. It. We was like, uh. Hey man, we really kind of old now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, um, it's it's a, it's a privilege, man. I'm I'm blessed to be in the position that I am. Um, just taking on that that leadership role, it's it's an honor, man, and I, I don't take it for granted. And just want to lead those guys in the right direction, like the leaders that did that before me. I looked up to somebody when I first got here, and I just want to be one of those guys that you know what I'm saying be looked up to as the season goes along. Who was that you looked up to when you got here? So uh, Lewis Singh, Chris Smith, Darion Kendrick. Quay Walker and the Kobe Dean, like the list goes on. Those guys paved the way for guys like myself and and said and like the standard is gonna be the standard. When me and said leave, the standard's still gonna be the standard. Uh, that and that's I, I feel like that's the best part about this organization is that the standard doesn't change, the people do. So um, yeah, just those guys that led before me just trying to give the best look I can. The national championship game, the first half, two interceptions fumble recovery and you hurt your shoulder and you're not able to come back and one shoulder doing okay was that just needed some rest yeah you have you ever played that well and what kind of confidence does that give you in a national championship type game going in the off season going to be a bigger leader for this team to have that kind of a performance at that point in the year oh as far as the first question shoulder's fine i just need you know so just a rest mm -hmm. a long season sec play yeah. uh you get dinged up mm -hmm. and that's the, that's the beauty of our training staff they do a tremendous job of helping us um just Doing what, they're doing what needs to be done and telling us the things that we need to do in order for us to be fully rested and fully recovered. As far as the second question, um, I, my mindset just going into every game is treat every game like it's your first game. Like you, you play your hardest, whether it's the national championship. I feel like I played as hard as I did the Oregon game and I did versus TCU. And that was the first game of the season versus the last game of the season. But um, just keep every game the same game. Like don't try to be too big in the moment. We don't need you to be anybody else but yourself. And that's the thing about this defense, man, and it's about this team in general. We just did what we had to do. Um, and what was it like back into your question? Like no, that? I was a year in school. Okay. How hard was it coming out of that game? I mean, you know, Which one? At the TCU game. Uh, I, I mean, uh, of course, like the athlete, the competitor in myself, you don't want to come out of any game. But um, just the way the game was going, um, you know what I'm saying? You got to see a lot of guys play. got to see a lot of other guys make plays. See smiles on my teammates' faces, knowing that it was the last game and knowing that we were going to be victorious. It was just a huge moment. You don't really look back at, you know what I'm saying, what could have happened or, you know, you know what I'm saying, uh, just me in particular. It was more so about the team and we did something that, you know what I'm saying, hadn't been done in CF, um, CFB, yeah, college football. So, um, yeah, it, it was huge. I wasn't really focused really on me, just getting healthy and celebrating with my teammates. What's been your impressions? Two more of, questions. What's been your impressions of the freshman at outside linebacker? Uh, obviously, you guys are missing some of these injured, and obviously, uh, Robert and Nolan are gone, so. 
Um, as far as like outside linebackers, I really, you know what I'm saying? Like as far as I'm, I'm a back end player, so I really haven't got to I'm saying dive in deep with those guys yet, but I'm sure we of course uh Derebe does a great job with those guys. He did a great job with Nolan and Rob, who are on the bigger and better things. So I'm I'm pretty sure they're doing fine. And like I said, as far as the young guys, like this defense is hard. You know what I mean? You're gonna keep you're gonna mess up, you're gonna have make mistakes and things like that. But like you grow and you learn, and that's the beauty of it. Do you know when uh, y'all be in pads? Sorry. Do you know when y'all are moving into pads yet? Uh, is that Saturday? By, yeah, probably by the end of the week, around about that time, yes, sir. Javon, let's real quick. What's the, what's the best part of having a parade thrown for you like you were the other day? Um, just knowing that your city has your back uh, um, through all the ups and downs. Um, just being recognized by your city is huge, man. I take a lot of pride in my city, where I'm from. It means the word of me and it means the word of my family. So just having a parade for my, all my accolades is huge. Thank you, Ron.